as for Bangladesh, I think, as far as I'm concerned, they are an ally and a friend who we helped during 1971 war against Pakistan. We liberated them, helped liberate them, and we presently have a dispensation in Sheikh Hasina who is uh, uh, very conducive to our, uh, our, our nation's health. But the fact of the matter is, and I quote uh, J.N. Dixit's Liberation and Beyond, his book, our former National Security Advisor and Foreign Secretary, uh, he wrote a very interesting uh, uh, paragraph, and I might quote from memory. He says that whoever comes to power in Bangladesh has to ensure two things. A, he or she has to proclaim the Islamist identity of Bangladesh, and B, has to distance himself or herself from India. Now, J.N. Dixit, I knew him uh, as a national security advisor when I was in the National Security Council Secretariat. Of course, he passed uh, away in a very untimely manner, but the fact of the matter is, is the sagacity with which he put forward these two, I would say, axioms, as far as biology is concerned, continues to be true. Despite the fact that Sheikh Hasina is a friend and a lie, and we need to empower her even more. But the fact of the matter is there are compulsions within the erstwhile East Pakistan, she's unable to sort of, you know, handle sometimes. When she was acting against the Islamist, and as, as she is, when she was acting against the Indian insurgents, which she handed over to us, she had to willingly use not the directed at General of Forces Intelligence and the National Security Intelligence, which were the two important uh, agencies in the country, right. but the detective branch and the uh, and, and the Bangladesh Police and the Ra Rapid a Action Battalion and the newly uh, uh, formed uh, Counterterrorism and Transnational Crime. Why? Because the DGFI and the NSI have an old time network with the Pakistan Army. I have met many uh, general officers of uh, Bangladesh who have done their National Defense College courses, for instance, not in New Delhi, but in Quetta in Pakistan. So naturally, you know, I come from a background where I studied in the Rashtri Indian Military College and the old day network is very, very strong and uh, it's not religion mere. Sure. So you must understand these imperatives and I'm sure the mandarins in South Block understand this as well. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.